guys, it's Ursus Avenge, and welcome back to Jinx, our magical mod of Minecraft series. And today we are going to continue building our house. In the last episode, I built a really, really terrible treehouse. And guys, I'm really sorry I had to put you through that. But uh, I've kind of started building this other house, and it's coming along. We're gonna we're, we're gonna do a house tour, okay? Um, there's still a whole bunch that needs to be done. I've kind of got a couple plans laid out. I did show you where I was at at the end of the last episode, and we we really do have a lot to uh, a lot to do. Now, I do have a confession to make. During that last build, uh, the really really bad treehouse, I did that all standard uh, in survival. Fine. Um, mobs were able to spawn, as you could tell, because I, I don't remember if I included it or not. But I fought off a bunch of Valkyries from the top of our treehouse. But I did have to turn off um, mob spawning for now. Um, at least, at least I put it on peaceful, um, because building this part was impossible when I was getting killed by Valkyries every two minutes. Um, so I did turn it off for now. It will go back on after we finish building. I just I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore, and I was really stressed out that I messed up the first one so bad, <laughs> and I was already stressed out from that, so I couldn't deal with mob damage anymore. So let's. Do a tour of where we have. Uh, there's not really much to say. Oh, I don't know if I like this actually. Ah, okay. <laughs> Either way, uh, I've gotten my tools now and we can continue with the house tour. You've seen the outside. This is just the frame. And when you kind of come around here, this is all going to be enclosed. I might need to pull this out a tiny bit. Maybe make it in line with the doorway. And I guess we'll see how that goes. I just think that this might be a little tight but it's it's okay we'll see when the wall i don't know if i want to see when the wall goes up we'll just we'll see how it goes uh it wraps around the back here we can still make it under the stairs um and that's kind of how we have it we are going to go downstairs first and downstairs is going to lead right into our storage room and this is going to get a facelift i don't like this oak wood oak wood here uh i kind of want to make it i don't know maybe Maybe I want to use item frames. I want to do a nicer storage wall. And one of my friends from my my SMP, uh, Jello, he did this really cool thing where he had his chests two into the wall and then the item frame was on the side, but he did have a double length of chest. And I really, really like that. So I might do that here. Uh, we'll definitely be able to fit so many more. Uh, we'll have unique chests for each item possibly because we do have this much space so we will see how that goes so thank you jello for that so that's our basement now we have up here which is kind of, oh okay i missed oh this was the uh old staircase that i'm going to get rid of and we're gonna go up the waterfall oh it's getting tricky here i didn't expect this to be that tricky uh oh i think i've built it too tall and okay, I've done it. Okay, so this is our treehouse spire. So I'm thinking maybe we do our bed in here. It might be a little complicated to get into. I could just do ladders. I just kind of thought that the waterfall was a little bit cooler. Uh, I need to fill that. Ooh, that was that was close. Uh, I do need to fill out the rest of this. Uh, put the leaves and. Oh, that just looked weird. I need to put the leaves on the tree and I need to put windows in here. Okay, and I guess back down. Now we also have an upstairs loft area. We can go up here and we have a possibly our book room, our library study area. I'm not really sure. Um oh, oh, or could it be it could be our um our library magic room, our Ars Magica place. We still have our um altar area over there which we might want to move inside the house actually i don't know because it might be unstable and i kind of do want to update it i guess we will see what we would need to update it. i think we would need new stones either way um that's something to consider after we finish our house so this is the other loft area and we can go back downstairs and this is sort of what i'm planning for our enchantment room uh maybe close off with some glass and uh, the bookcases would still have to go here. Uh, but I kind of like the layout of this house because I can build on and add extra rooms as I see fit. If I need it to go further back, I can do that. Uh, I do have a back door here, but if I need to push it into the mountain, I could do that totally. If I need to make it taller, I can do that. I was actually considering adding a second room off of this side here. Um, 
that kind of comes off of the the staircase that might be neat but uh i guess we'll see what we need to add when the time comes for now i'm just going to keep building up this area here oh we're gonna need to collect a whole bunch more sand we need to collect a whole bunch more sand for for all the glass that we have to make because i'm looking forward to using a lot of glass in this house all right but i guess uh i guess i'm gonna get started Okay, so I think I am done building the house. I am a little bit more confident about this one than the last one. So I hope, I really, I really hope that you guys like it because I'm gonna be a little bit devastated if you don't. I mean, you guys are entitled to your own opinion and everything. I'm just, I'm just saying that this took a really long time. I kind of lost track of time. I don't know how long I was building for. Easily four hours. And I mean, it's, it's not the greatest thing, but I think it's kind of nice. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Here it is. Ta-da! Okay. So, it's a little bit boring in the front here. Um, we are missing a little bit of dimension. I tried to add a little bit here, having this come out a block probably should have come out too. But the problem is that I wouldn't have a lot of space here to get around. Uh, so that's just kind of how it's going to be. I might add to the second floor actually, have that come out over the front. Um, or the other option is to have it come out this way, but we will do a house tour and I will, I'll, I'll explain. So I went with some purple stained glass, like as part of our, our another temple up there. I just, guys, I really like the look of the purple stained glass. I can't get over it. I really like it. I think we are going to move our spirit tree. We already put one at the fairy farm. I don't know if we need one here. Actually, I don't even think. Hello? <gasps> oh. Thank you, Tree Nymph. Thank you for the Ender Pearls. Okay. I think I left pork chops in there. That's... That's efficient. Okay, so we're gonna go inside. Uh, and a small tour here. I put a couple of furnishings in here. I didn't entirely finish. I was kind of hoping that we could add to it as we... As we play. Uh, as, as we have our little magical journey. We have the food bowl here so that I could eventually send the dogs to wandering and have them hang out on this uh, on this floor here. So this area is a little bit empty. It comes around to the backyard. Don't know how often I'm actually going to come this way except to go downstairs. Um, but maybe we can add something here eventually. I am open to your suggestions. I do have Bibliocraft and I'm open to adding additional mods to add uh, maybe a couple more decorations. I thought about Zagocraft. It might be a little too intense for my world, but um, I'm open to other things. So we are going to go upstairs first. So first things first is our bedroom. I had this as a waterfall before, but it kept messing up because as soon as I got up to this point, it was painfully slow to swim up and I was near drowning almost every time. Okay, so we are up here. I have a little bit of, a, of an armor area. This is all the stuff that was in the basement. I have my backpacks here. Um, and I'm thinking I might put all my spare backpacks on like shelves. I thought that that might be cute. Um, we have our desk from before, and I brought back our canopy bed. Now, you may notice that the bed is a different color now. Uh, I retextured the bed to match our room better. I made it match the purple wool. Uh, it was blue, so I wanted to match the canopy, and I didn't want to just make it white like last time because I wanted everything to be purple because I really like the purple. So I retextured the bed to be purple instead of blue. So if you have the zigzag texture pack, you will have a blue bed. I simply recolored mine in Photoshop. I do not take credit for the actual texture of the bed. I just modified it to make it work for my world. Disclaimer aside, we have a, okay, I'm really, really proud of this. This is a little window box, um, a little reading nook. So we can, we can sit here and, and pick out a book and, and kind of look over our world and stuff like that over at the lava pool that we're slowly depleting. There's lots of stuff over there that I don't think that we've explored entirely. We might have to go on another expedition soon. And honestly, we probably should go explore and maybe find some more animals. By animals, I mean mystical horses because I know that there are a couple different ones that we have not seen. So I would like to do that. We might need a bigger barn. I don't know, I expanded it, it might be fine. We do need to get more name tags, that we definitely need to do. But because we've been doing a lot of building, I kinda wanna do a little adventuring. I really do wanna cave a little bit more, as terrible as I am at it. Uh, so that was this room. I didn't wanna add fences around here because it would make it too difficult to move. So we're gonna just uh, spelunk back down. 
Okay, and upstairs now, oh, well, I mean, we can come here. This is our enchantment table, and we can get up to a 30 level enchant uh, as it is. So that's, that's working. All right, and we're going to go up to the loft area. Now, we do have clearance here, but the thought is that we could expand out this way and um, make an additional room come out here if we ever need it. So there's definitely room to expand, and that's kind of why I wanted my house to be this big, because I wanted to fill this whole area and make it our, our little magical castle, essentially. And there's nothing more magical than having these magical leaves fall into your... Uh, what is this? My study. My, um, my magic study room. Um, I guess it's almost like a library, but it's not entire... <gasps> I should make this an entire library. I mean, we have plenty of books. I can just, I can just make this all bookshelves and make this a study. <gasps> I like that idea. Okay, I might, I might have to do that. <laughs> uh, we do have our jukebox, and I put our records back up there. This is everything we need for our Ars Magica. This is the um, essence refiner, I think. Our wand is there. Mojo's note, our compendium, and our spells are going on the shelves up here. Uh, we need to make more spells. That's 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 another thing that I need to do. Do we have any other? <gasps> we have points to spend. Bounce not learned. Fire damage not learned. We need to not do damage. Oh, I can I can give myself defense. Utility touch not learned. Talents mana regen. Affinity. I need I need dig. I'm told that Dig will help me... Ah! Oh, dig! You! Alright, so I have to get Touch. Okay, so eventually we need one more point so we can get Dig, because that supposedly um, will help us level up our skills a whole lot more so we can get more, more spells. So we're gonna get Dig. It is final. Okay, so we're gonna move on here. This is our study. Uh, this one's a little bland, but maybe I might fill it up with some more books. I have a thing with books. I still have to do our brewing room. Haven't really thought about that yet, but I honestly, I'm not crazy about this room. I think we can jazz it up a little bit. Um, make a better storage area. To be honest, I think, I think that that's something I need to do. I might close off our mine altogether because this isn't really effective. Um, and I, I didn't build a formal mine shaft like I was planning originally. Um, we definitely need to do our brewing room. I don't know if it's going to come off here or if I wanted to do it on that second loft area. Let me know your thoughts. I was thinking about doing it underground only because we do have to grow some nether root. Nether root. Nether wart. <laughs> uh, we have to do that in the dark. So that was my concern. And here is one other room I'm really excited to show you guys. And it's a little small, so I, I don't want to build up too much hype. But you come down here and we have... Thanks, Minecraft. That was terrifying. <laughs> wow, it should not have been that spooky. It's it's not terrifying, I swear. It's just our pet's room. So I have a bed for Opal, a bed for Vex, and a bed for Cobalt. And I kind of want to jazz it up and make it a little more them. We do have fancy signs that I can build for this. I wanted to put up some maybe item frames um, with like bones and a fish. Ooh, maybe, yeah, maybe that actually might be cute. Hold up, I, okay, I really like that idea. Oh, maybe we could do paintings. <gasps> Are there animal related paintings in Minecraft? Oh my god, I've never seen paintings in this texture pack. Let's go make some paintings. Oh, grumpy cat. You are so cute. <gasps> oh, it's such a big Mona Lisa. Oh my gosh, these paintings are adorable. All right, paneling, which, oh my gosh, that would look adorable on the outside of the house. Oh, if I had known these things! Oh, that's- that's- okay, that's just pixel art. Oh, you too. <gasps> Nyan Cat! Uh, that's original Minecraft. Oh, they, they stack over each other? I guess they're not really supposed to. <gasps> oh, sorry, Knight, how cute! Ooh! That's nice! I don't know if that works in this room, though. Can I get a big one with animals on it? I mean, that fits perfectly, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, I mean, that that works too. Not really animal related again. Oh, there's a big one and a small one. 
Okay, well, we have a tree. <gasps> oh, this is so cute for, like, a kid's room. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I... Oh, I love it. We're keeping that one. Okay, I mean, that one's animal-related. Oh, I like the grumpy cat. It's so cute. <gasps> Nyan cat. Oh, it's so cute. I'm really loving this. Okay, so I do want to add um, maybe something, a symbol for each of them behind their bed. Because uh, I don't necessarily need to write out opal and ta- uh, I might still do that anyway. Let's go make some fancy signs. Okay, so I'm thinking that we pick some symbols for each of our animals. Um, Opal is kind of like our little magic dog, so maybe we brew up a potion just for her. Uh, Cobalt... Well, he's... He's more of a fun-loving dog. I think we need to build him a toy. And in Doggy Talents, there's this thing called a throw bone. I think it's, uh, two bones and a slime. There it is. A throw bone. Okay. So, I think we go outside and we test this. Let's see which of our dogs is better at this. Okay, who wants the bone? Who wants the throw bone? Go get it. I... Go, go, go get it. I, okay, I, I threw it. It's over here. Yeah, this is what you're looking for. This is what you need to get. You need to... Oh. Okay. Uh, do I need to change your settings? Oh, he's ready for you to throw the bone. Okay, so docile. <gasps> Good girl, Opal. Okay. Come here, Cobalt. Uh, let's set you to docile. There we go. Alright, you guys wanna play throw bone? You guys wanna play throw bone? Come on, let's go get throw bone. And throw the bone. Guys, guys, this is not how you play throw- Go get the bone. No? Alright, fine. I guess the throw bone just isn't for you then, Cobalt. You, you wanna try again? You want me to throw it that way? Okay, well, maybe this is more Opal's thing than yours. You really don't like doing throw bone. You just keep shaking your head no. Thank you, Opal. It's covered in drool. Thank you, Opal. I was gonna give her a potion, but maybe I'll just give her the throw bone. But Cobalt, Cobalt, Cobalt. Okay, so let's pick something for Vex. Logically, we would give him a fish. Uh, he's from the jungle. We did tame him. He was an ocelot. But I'm not really sure what to give him. I mean, Trimmer, it's actually kind of like Opal, so maybe we'll give that one to Opal. Uh, sorry, off topic. Um, I don't... I'm not really sure. Alright, well, we have a salmon, we have a raw fish, and we have a puffer fish. And the puffer fish is by far the cutest. Cobalt, what are you into? What can I, what can I get you? Your black pelt, the critical heart rate, a creeper sweeper, dark dog... Physical attacks. Well, seeing as you are our our guard dog, maybe we give you some armor. Um, tools. Do I have any spare armor? We have spare chest plates. A spare golden helmet. That might be neat. All right. You have a spare golden helmet. How about oh, how about that, Cobalt? Oh, I guess you really like that one. Oh, perfect. I think we found something just right for you. Okay, starting with opals. Um, can I right click you? Shift click? Shift click! There we go. Can I add an item? Uh, click a box or press tab to select an editing panel. Tab? Oh! Snap! Everything is happening. Alright, so you are gonna get the chim right. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cool! Oh my gosh, do you see it shimmering? <gasps> I didn't know that! Oh my gosh, this really is a fancy sign. Okay, you know what? That's that's good enough. Oh, I really like that. Oh, I'm kind of obsessed. Cobalt, I'm not done with yours. Okay, so now we have... No, I don't know if I'm gonna like that fish there. So we are going to... We're gonna do you next, Cobalt. Ah, yes, that is way better. Okay, so we have Cobalt, we have Opal, and Vex. Now, we could do a fish. 
but we did heal Vex with the potion, and Vex is sort of a magical name, so I think we give him a potion. Uh, now it doesn't need to be healing, but let's see what other kind of potions we can make. Okay, so Vex's color is green, so we could do, uh, we could do poison. I mean, do we want to do poison or should we just stick with the healing ones? I mean, I'm not going to poison anyone. So maybe we just... What, what do I need for poison? I need spider eye. Awkward potion. How do I make an awkward potion? Dried nether wart. Okay, so nether wart, get an awkward potion, awkward potion, add a spider eye. So I could do that no problem. How much nether wart do I have? Oh, we have a bunch. Okay, so I can afford to just do one. I sort of wanted to build our potion room before I did this. We'll, we'll have more reasons to make potions. So let's do this. Let's get some awkward potions in here. And while that's going, we're going to get a spider eye. Awkward potion, awkward potion. Okay. Spider eye. There we go. We have potions of poison. Okay. There we go. There we go, that's much better. Okay, so we have Opal, Vex, and Cobalt. <gasps> oh, this is so exciting! Alright, well we have the room kind of good to go. Oh, it's partially snowing up here. <gasps> this is magical. It's weird that it's partially snowing some places and not anywhere else. Well, anyways, that's this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to see the continuation. There's a couple plans I still have for building, but, uh, uh oh, I heard somebody get hurt. Uh oh, uh, oh, no, no, who's dying? Who's dying? Don't die, don't die, don't die. Who's, guys? Hello? I don't see my dogs. Oh, guys, stop! <sighs> <sighs> Swear, you know what? Let's let's go put some food in your bowl before I th end the episode. There, you guys can you guys can eat. There you go. Good, good, good job, guys. All right, let's let's go back to do this again. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to see the continuation. I think we should probably be going on an adventure. Maybe a little caving. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of a little bit in a building frenzy. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Have a magical day.